The Kawasaki W175 is a 177 cubic centimeters air-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder motorcycle made by Kawasaki since 2017. The retro-style bike, like the Kawasaki W series along with W250, W650, and W800 is currently produced by PT Kawasaki Motor Indonesia. Kawasaki held the world premiere launch for this bike in Jakarta in November 2017, and began selling this bike mainly for the Indonesian domestic market. For now, the bike has been exported to Thailand, the Philippines, and Latin American markets such as Uruguay, Mexico and Bolivia. The bike gained some popularity among bike modification enthusiasts as a great base bike for custom modifications. The base W175 has a top speed of 110 km per hour or 68 miles per hour. Unfortunately, there's no indication that Kawasaki will bring the W175 to the North America market. The bike currently retails, depending on the market, between $1,775 US dollars to $2,320, pretty much making the Kawasaki W175 one of the most affordable, entry-level, retro-style bikes, and a perfect base bike for customization and modifications. The video will show some simple modifications and ideas to convert a base W175 into a cafe racer style bike. Okay, so starting with the base bike, we first have to remove several components. First, we remove the original mirrors, the front turn signals, and the headlight. We also remove the entire rear fender, which also includes the license plate holder, the taillight, and the rear turn signals. Next, we remove the front fender and the original seat. Moving on, we remove the original muffler as well as the instruments and instrument brackets. Finally, for now, we remove the original handlebars and all the controllers and levers. Time to start with the modification and putting the bike back together to convert it into a cafe racer. In the first modification, we shorten the front headlight bracket to fit a smaller custom headlight. Next, we reinstall a new headlight, in this case a 7-inch classic matte black mesh headlight, with a yellow lens. In the next step, we replace the original handlebars with clip-on handlebars, which include brawn leather handlebar grips. Instead of the original instruments, we use a single one from Motogadget, the MST Vintage Speedometer. For the front turn signals, we use the Motogadget MO Blaze Disc Black Bar and LED Indicator. And to replace the original mirrors, we use the Motogadget MO View Cafe Mirrors. Let's take a look, how the bike looks so far. For the seat, we use a black modified Suzuka Cafe Racer seat, with a brawn upholstery. But there are pretty much endless options available online, just check out sites like Cafe Racer Web Shop. In the next step, we update the tank color to a deeper black, to fit the color of the seat, and we replace the original tank badge with a black one. We also replace the plastic tank cap with a metal chrome one. Now, we remove the model logos on the side panels, and match the black color to the rest of the bike. We also modify the side panel on both sides, with adding three meshed circle air intakes. As a new taillight and rear turn signals, we use a three sections bendable LED strip. Now it's time to replace the original tires with a pair of Firestone Deluxe Champion Cycle, vintage motorcycle tires. For the front fender, we install a shorter, little bastard, front fender. And to match the rest of the bike a little better, we paint the inside of the front disc in black as well. Some of the 2023 models have that already. And finally, for now, we install a custom, shorter, matte black side muffler. Now let's look at some additional options. First, we add a vintage style belly pan to the bike. Next, 
We wrapped the front part of the exhaust system with black exhaust tape. And we also reinstalled the model logos on the side panels. As an additional variation, let's check out how the wheels would look like with blacked out spokes, instead of the silver original ones. And as another alternative, let's switch the wheel rims to silver, instead of the black original color. And also, let's switch back the spokes to silver for an all-silver wheel. And finally, let's remove the belly pan again. This concludes today's design ideas and modifications of a Kawasaki W175 into a cafe racer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.